approximately 12 years ago to discover the magic of water. And I got so excited about it that I began to share that with my patients. And of course they turned back and said, Doc, okay, we're getting the message that water is special and that we should drink it, but what water should we drink? And so that at that time, the only water that we had that was used for cleaning up the body or having an interface with the body was the still water. What has happened over the last 12 years is that my curiosity and my God has allowed me to go all over the world. It has actually drawn me to certain places around the world. And I could be on vacation and just happen to be sitting on a plane next to somebody that puts another piece of the puzzle together. I look forward next month to going high in the Himalayas of Russia and China, meeting with gentlemen that are over 200 years of age and putting together some other pieces of the puzzle in terms of the magic of water. And when I look at this earth, and we can learn all we need to know from nature, and I see that at this time that our planet is in trouble, that 85, correction, 15% of the water on the earth should be drinkable. Only 1% is drinkable. And really less than that now. I begin to say, boy, we're having a problem here. When I know that my body chooses to be approximately 85% water, and my brain would like to be 90% water, and ideally, as a newborn, would like to be 99% water. I say again, we're in trouble. And when I look to see what water am I going to drink that will allow my body to get in that kind of shape. When I look off the coast, as you are close to the water here in Philadelphia, and I recognize that most of the oxygen that we breathe comes from plants in the sea, not from the trees on the earth. And I find that the ocean plants have actually turned into a virtual desert. They no longer exist. And so the 15% oxygen content that we should be breathing is now down to, I'm sorry, the, the 25 to 30% oxygen content that we were breathing even 20 years ago is now down to 18%. At 14%, we all go into coma. So we have real problems right now with our water, with our air. And what can we do about it? As I look at the earth and it being 85% water also, I say there's similarities here. So that as the earth is dying, so are we. If I take a gentleman at age 70 and measure the amount of water in his body, we find that he has half the amount of water in his body that he had when he was 40 years of age. If that same 